Welcome to yoga. Before we start today, I just want to say that I, for the next couple weeks, um, there won't be a new yoga class. The next new one will be July 14th because we're decamping up to New Hampshire for a few months. So um, if you want to do yoga, you can always go back and take an old practice uh, and do that. Um, and I will see you again um, on July 14th. Anyway, but today we're going to do a practice. So uh, begin any way that you'd like, uh, seated or supine. Just uh, get comfortable. Close your eyes. And begin your journey inward. Just release the, any tension, tightness that you feel. Notice how your body feels this morning. Notice if you've got a lot of thoughts moving around in there. And we're going to have a group intention today. Um, you, you'll also be able to make your own intention, but the group intention is going to be to stay with each breath throughout the practice. So that's an hour. So um, we're, we're going to try to just really follow each breath. That really means staying in each moment. Um, with what is real and true. So as we center today, um, we're going to practice that with our um, pranayama. So we'll do ujjayi pranayama, which is just a narrowing of the glottis in your throat. So your, your breath makes a, a soft sound just that only you can hear. And just begin to breathe, to lengthen, deepen, and slow down your breath. So without, um, and there's no effort here. It's just a conscious lengthening your, of your breath and slowing it down. So your breath changes during the day, just automatically. Your body knows how to breathe itself in the way that's needed. So that if you're very active, you're breathing one way. Um, so this is you consciously controlling your breath for practice. So you can count um, to even out the inhale and exhale, or just have a sense that your, your inhale and exhale are even and your belly is rising and falling. So for the first minute of this Ujjayi Pranayama, focus on the lift of your belly on the inhale. Notice how your belly rises, chest lifts, and on the exhale, Everything recedes, relaxes, and recedes back to center. So that's just a minute as you use Ujjayi Pranayama, lengthen, deepen, slow down your breath in a way that's comfortable for you. No effort. Just consciously controlling your breath with your focus on what happened, how your body moves on the inhale, lifts and expands, and on the exhale, release, relax, back to center, belly comes in.
Now, continuing with the Ujjayi Pranayama, we're just, this is going to be a subtle shift in focus. Um, now focus as you inhale on the breath, visualize the breath going to all parts of your body. So see if you can feel the inhale, not just belly rising, but the breath moving all throughout your body. And on the exhale, consciously release any muscular tension. Just let your body sink down into the mat if you're on your back or down into your seated foundation if you're sit sitting. So just a shuttle, <laughs> subtle shift. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> but still your focus on each slow, deep, even breath and what happens on the inhale as your breath moves all throughout your body, the energy of the inhale, what you're bringing in, the oxygen moving out to every cell in your body. And on the exhale, releasing any muscular tension, relaxing as much as you can, letting go of what you don't need, breath by breath. Okay, then release that pranayama and take a moment to create your own intention, a personal intention for your practice alongside the group intention, which is again to stay with each breath during practice. Create your own intention. You can do two things at once. <laughs> And we will begin our practice in a supine position. So come on over onto your backs. Have a strap or belt or tie handy. We'll need that for the beginning. Come over onto your back with the strap nearby. And lengthen out. <clears throat> lengthen your legs out. Flex your feet. Spread your toes. Bring your arms up overhead toward the, mat, the floor or mat. Spread your fingers. And on an inhale, lengthen out in two directions. Noticing how the inhale lifts your chest and assists in the lengthening. Exhale, keep the position, but let everything soften. Couple more like that. Notice how your body moves with the inhale and the exhale. Lengthening on the inhale. As you reach out, softening on the exhale. So the breath helps you get more into the pose. And the next time you come to an exhale, draw your right knee into your chest, hug it in. Take your strap and place it around the ball of your right foot. And lengthen your right leg up toward the ceiling. So hold this one edge end of the strap or belt in each hand comfortably. Press up into the strap, press your foot up 
toward the ceiling. Gently activate your left leg. So press your left, your left foot is flexed and pressing lightly into the mat. And inhale, each inhale, you're going to lift, press that right foot up toward the ceiling. Exhale, perhaps it can come a little closer, leg a little closer to your chest, no forcing. Let it happen, don't make it happen. So, Extending through the back of your right leg. You can press the heel up toward the ceiling. Feel a little more stretch of your hamstrings. Now take both ends of the strap in your right hand. You can bring your left hand to your left hip to keep that left hip rooted to the mat. And on an exhale, pull your belly in and let your right leg move slowly out to the right, keeping pressing into the strap as far as feels comfortable. Don't think you need to go all the way to the floor. So when you reach the point where your left hip is coming off the ground, stop there and take a few breaths in external rotation, abducting. Keep breathing, remember, stay with each breath. Inhale, lengthen out through your right leg. Exhale, relax, the strap is holding it up there. Make sure your face is relaxed here, no need to Muscle up around your throat, your eyes, your jaw. And then inhale, bring your right leg up. Change the strap into your left, both ends of the strap into your left hand. And we'll adduct, move the hip, the leg to the left, crossing over your body. It will not go as far. So stretch up the right side of your leg. So gently lengthen through your left leg and your right leg, two different directions. Inhale, send the breath right up to the area of sensation. Exhale, perhaps move a little bit more to the left. Anytime during practice you wander away from your focus on the breath, just gently come back. I will be reminding you. And don't expect that you're going to be able to keep that focus breath by breath successfully. You will not. It's a practice, and the more you practice, the more you'll be able to keep your focus. Now, let your right leg come back, bend the knee into the chest, take the strap off, lengthen your right leg out, take another full body stretch, out through both feet, up, out through both arms. Exhale, bring your left knee into your chest, squeeze it in. Lengthen out through your right leg. Put the strap around the ball of your left foot. And we'll do that same sequence on the other side. So lengthen up flat foot or even heel a little more pressing toward the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen up, press against the strap. Exhale, maybe your leg comes a little more in toward your chest. Just a little. Maybe not. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, release a little bit. One more. 
more breath. Take both ends of the strap in your left hand. Right hand can come to the mat or to your hip, right hip, and begin to take your leg out to the left. Find your where, where it stops so your right hip can stay on the mat. And take a few breaths here, reaching out, inhale, exhale, maybe being able to release some, get some more stretch on the inner thigh muscles. Face is relaxed. Slow, deep, even breath. Inhale, bring your left leg up. Take the straps ends in your right hand. Exhale, left leg toward the right. Always be aware of the differences in your sides. Most everybody has them. This leg may go further or not as far. Notice where you feel the stretch. Breathe into it, breathe, inhale, send the oxygen right to that stretchy place, exhale, see where you can release. Inhale, leg comes up, bend your knee, take the strap off and set it aside. Lengthen out your left leg, both arms overhead, full body stretch. And then exhale, bring both knees into your chest, hug them in. Take any movement here that feels good. So listen to your body. You can circle your hips. Knees around your hips or just rock. Anything that feels good. And then let your both feet come to the mat. Knees are bent. Feet about hip width apart. Bring your arms out to the side, shoulder height, palms facing up. Take an inhale in the center. Exhale, pull your belly in, both knees over to the right. Don't force them down, just let them go as far as they go. Inhale back to center. Exhale, belly in, low back to the mat, knees to the left. So windshield wipe. So in movement, you're going to move with the breath. So inhale, brings your knees up, and then exhale, begin to the left. So your breath is slow, deep, even. Your movement follows the breath not the other way around. It's a subtle difference. So see if you can have, uh, let the breath initiate the movement. When the inhale begins, your knees come up. When the exhale begins, your knees go to the side. Belly comes in on the exhale. As you noticed when we started and paid attention during the centering, exhale, the belly naturally pulls in, comes in. Now the next time your knees come to the side, it doesn't matter which side, Pause there, keep your belly lightly pulled in, 
and just hold the twist. So in stillness, notice how the body moves also just with the breath. So inhale, send the breath out all over the body. Exhale, see where you can find release. So your body on the inhale lengthens and broadens. On the exhale, softens and releases. And if you're wandered away, come back to following each breath. Watch the breath, see how it moves the body. See how the body reacts to the inhale and the exhale. Now inhale back to center, exhale belly in, exhale to the other side. You wanna bring your neck into the twist, that's fine too. Breath by breath. Now inhale your knees back to center. Bring both knees into your chest. Take a little rock or any movement you want and then cross your ankles or any way you want to rock up and come around to an all four foundation set up in tabletop so wrists under shoulders knees under hips spread your fingers press into the tops of your feet down into the mat through any part of your body that's touching the mat. Start with a neutral spine, so lengthen out the crown of your head and through your tailbone. And on an exhale, tuck your tailbone, tuck your chest, chin to your chest, spinal flexion, cat, cat pose. Inhale, spinal extension, cat pose. So as you do some a few movements up through cat cow, opening up your spine, juicing it up. Remember the breath. So breath initiates movement. Slow, deep, even breath. Slow, mindful movement. Okay, now come back to tabletop, neutral spine. And we're going to begin a three breath vinyasa, earth salutations with cat cow. So I'll lead you through it a few times. The focus here is going to be moving with breath, slow, mindful movement. So start in tabletop on an inhale. Exhale, hips back to heels, child's pose. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, cat, round your back. Inhale, cow. Spinal extension, belly, chest drop. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Hips up and back. Lengthen up toward the ceiling through your sit bones. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, down dog. So the inhale, we start the sequence, inhale, tabletop, and then exhale brings you to child's pose. Next breath, inhale, tabletop, exhale, cat, inhale, cow, exhale, down dog. Okay, now I won't lead you anymore. I'm going to keep doing them, but you do it at your own pace, to your own breath. Slow, mindful movements. Stay with each breath. Do one more round. And when you come to downward facing dog, choice to stay in down dog for a few breaths or take a rest in child's pose. So either, either one, whatever is right for you today. So whichever pose you've chosen, stay with your breath. Notice how the inhale moves your body and how the exhale, how your body responds on the exhale. Stay with your breath. Now, if you're in child's pose, come to your knees or come to downward facing dog. And from either position, tabletop or down dog, come out to high plank or um, move your hands a little forward if you're in um, tabletop. And lower down slowly as you can. Just make sure your hips are not lower than your shoulders. So the hips are the last part to go down. Come down to a prone position. Come onto your belly. Just rest your forehead on your hands for a few breaths. This is a very gentle back bend, crocodile.
Now bring your forehead to the mat, arms by your side, palms facing down. Press into the, point your toes, press into the tops of your feet. Press your, tuck your tailbone. So you're pressing your pubic bone into the mat. And on an inhale, spread your fingers, lift both legs, lift your head and chest. You can keep your locust pose here. You can keep your hands on the mat or lift them. Just make sure your palms are facing down or even outward. So just move with your breath a little bit. Inhale, lift, lengthen out. Exhale, maybe come down all the way, maybe come down a little. So dynamic locust. Inhale, lift, bring your shoulder blades together on the back, open your chest, thighs inwardly rotate. In and out or hold. Notice how the inhale assists in lifting. And the exhale you can release a little bit or a lot. See if you can hold this and keep your breath smooth and steady. And then come into a rest position, either on your cheek or your forehead on your hands. Just take a few breaths here, feeling the energy from that effort. But staying with your breath, notice how your breath changed there. Now, bring your um, left palm to the mat so that you can put your forehead on it. Bend your right leg. Reach back and take a hold of your right foot if you can. You can use a strap here too. And just press your, bring your right heel toward your right thigh. So stretching the quadricep muscle on your right thigh. Just a gentle stretch or whatever feels sustainable. Not too much, not too little. Breathe right into that stretch. Inhale into there. Exhale, soften. Release your right leg, change your hand if you like to rest your head on your hand. Bring your left heel toward your left thigh, upper leg, back of your upper leg, and gently press the foot into the leg. Find a nice stretch on the left side. Stay with your breath. So inhale right into that left thigh. Exhale, release. Be 
Keep that ujjayi breath. If you don't like to narrow your glottis and make the sound, just keep your breath so deep and even. And now release the left leg. Bend both knees. Your forehead can be on your hands or hands down out to cactus arms, any arms you want. And bring your feet up toward the ceiling and begin windshield wipes, prone windshield wipes. So just moving your feet side to side. And then bring your hands under your shoulders and bring yourself up to all fours and then into downward facing dog. And from down dog, walk your hands back to your feet. And come in, bring yourself all the way up and we'll build a mountain pose. Lift and spread your toes, broaden out your feet, find the four corners, press down gently into the earth, make a soft muscle with your quads, tuck your tailbone, bring your shoulders up and back around, bring your shoulder blades together on the back, nice open chest, long waist. Rib cage lifting away from the pelvis. Externally rotate your arms, spread your fingers, lift up through the crown of your head. Close your eyes if you have the balance. Reconnect with your breath. Relaxed face, jaw, neck. three breaths. Inhale, exhale. And then open your eyes and we'll begin with some sun breath. So keeping your palms spread, lightly pressing into the mat. Inhale, arms up, palms touch, then rotate out and back down around. A few more in time with your own breath. Move with your breath, please. You can follow, your gaze can follow your hands. So that agrees with your upper spine. Do keep your arms active as if the air was thick. Or like swimming in water. And the next time your hands go up, interlace your fingers, press your palms to the ceiling. Inhale, lift, exhale, side bend right. Inhale, center, exhale, side bend left. A few laterals, stretching out your side body. And then come back to center, let your arms come down. And we're going to do some balance. So 
step off your mat if your mat is too um, soft, get a little more resistance. So start with both feet. Let's put our hands on our hips. <clears throat> Press down, let the weight come into your left foot. Inhale your right knee. And then bring your right toes back behind you. Touch the mat behind you. And then you might want to see once you have the balance there and your gaze, don't forget your drishti, something that's not moving. Activate your core. And then you can see about lifting your back leg, pointing out. So plantar flexion of the foot. Option to bring your left arm out. If you want to try dancer pose, um, you can take a hold of your, I'm not sure I can do this uh, adequately. <clears throat> but take a hold of your right foot and then press back into your hands as we were doing in a prone position. That's just an option. Toes back on the mat is a good balance or just lifting the leg and the left arm so just for play with this for a little bit if you come out that's great take a breath build back up try try again balance is all about practice and having a playful and curious attitude Okay, so take some time to come out with as much control as you can and shake out your standing leg, the left leg, make any movement. And we'll try some version of dancer on the other side. So weight comes into your right foot. Take time to get your foundation. Arms can be anywhere. Um, and lift your leg in front, take the left toes back, lift, arm can come into it, you can hold that left leg. with your breath so keep breathing that can be a very steadying influence on your imbalance poses along with the gaze okay then come out of your dancer shake everything out Come to the front edge of your mat or front third of your mat. Have your hips, uh, feet be about hip width apart. Turn your right toes out 45 degrees and take a big step back. Make sure your feet are not on a line and bring your right hip forward so you want your hips to be square to the front edge. Bend your left knee so it comes right over the left ankle. Bring your hands to your heart space and then on an inhale, goddess arms and then if you, you can stay here or bring your arms up, any version of warrior one arms that you want. So a little back bend here. Chest is broad, shoulder blades together on the back. You're pressing equally down into both feet. Your left hip is coming forward, left thigh rotating in. 
So as you hold warrior, the inhale assists in the lift, lifting up, and in the exhale, grounding down, perhaps sinking a little bit down into the earth. So you're lifting and grounding at the same time. Follow your breath, each breath. And then bring your hands back to your hips, straighten your left leg. Bring your right foot maybe a little bit forward. Inhale, lengthen up through the crown of your head. Make sure your right hip is still moving forward, your hips are level. And then exhale, lengthen out, tilt your tailbone, bring your chest forward, halfway, long straight spine. Take your arms and cross, hold, take hold of opposite elbows behind your back, or you can bring your hands to a block, to blocks, or to your thigh. And we're going to stay right here, halfway down in Ardha Parsvottanasana, half forward bend. Breathe. Inhale, lengthen out through the crown of your head, long spine. Exhale, soften down, but stay half lifted. If you can stay with your breath, then inhale, come back up, bring your right foot up to meet your left, and take any movement here before we do the other side. So now the left toes come out, left leg comes back, clarify your hips are facing the front edge of your mat. Bend your right knee over your right ankle. Start here with your hands at heart space. All the warrior poses start from the heart. And then on an inhale, come into any arms you'd like for warrior one. You can make it a little more of a back bend, bringing your gaze up. Make it your pose. Do keep breathing. Do keep with the awareness of how the body moves with the breath. Lifting and expanding on the inhale. Opening. Exhale, sinking, grounding. Stable and easy at the same time. Follow each breath. And then inhale, straighten your right leg, perhaps shorten your stance a little bit. Make sure your hips are level. Bring your elbows, hold on to your elbows behind your back. Inhale, tuck. Tilt your tailbones up as you come forward halfway, strong, flat back, pressing equally into both feet. Gaze is down. Ardha Utparsvottanasana, Ut half forward bend. That's not right. It's not a half forward bend. That's Arda Uttanasana. I can't translate that. Anyway, it's a half this pose. <laughs> Revolved forward bend, maybe. 
Inhale, come all the way up. Bring your left foot up to meet your right. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, swan dive forward, forward bend. Just bring your feet back into downward facing dog. Inhale to all fours. Bring your feet around to the side. Come into a seat and onto your back. Keep your knees bent, feet hip width apart. Bring your arms out shoulder height, palms face up. And we're going to close with um, windshield wipes as we started. So here you might wanna make a different choice. Your feet can be wide apart if you want a little, a little more action in the hips or the closer together, more in the low spine. Your choice, but start with an inhale and center. Exhale, knees to the side, doesn't matter which side. Inhale, center, exhale, belly in, left side. Your choice if you want to bring your neck into the twist. So just windshield wipes, notice any difference if your body, in your body's uh, sens sen the sensations, how these feel in your body at the end of, toward the end of practice compared to the beginning. But do move with your breath just as we did at the beginning. Mindful, staying with each breath. We're almost done. Just by following your breath as much as having the intention of following each breath, you have strengthened your focus. And then next time your uh, knees come to the side, pause whichever side, and remember your breath in stillness. So in stillness, you send the breath to the area of sensation or all over. Feel the breath throughout your body. Exhale, release anywhere you can in the body. Feel the release. And then inhale your knees back up. Exhale to the other side. Hold. So you're not moving your body, but your breath is moving in your body. And there are subtle movements happening inside your body. An expansion on the inhale, opening, the softening and release on the exhale. bring your knees back to center. Take any last movement as you move yourself into Shavasana. Find your favorite Shavasana or try something new. Just be sure you're cozy, comfortable, 
balanced in terms of symmetry. Your body is balanced. Right to left. And you are expending as little energy as possible. So no need to follow your breath as we've been doing during practice. Just let the body breathe itself and surrender. Let your body take care of you and surrender to the moment. This is a time when you can be at peace. You're not led by your thoughts, emotions. You have everything you need. You're safe. Just experience a few minutes of surrender and peace. Gently bring your awareness back to the space and awaken your body with gentle movements, gradually bringing yourself over onto your side, <clears throat> resting for a few breaths, Scanning your body, your mind, your emotions, just seeing where you are after practice, noticing the benefits of your practice. And then use your arms to bring yourself up to a comfortable seat. And keep your eyes closed, looked up through your, the crown of your head. 
tall, straight spine. Bring your hands, palms together at your heart space. And I wish you peace in your heart. Now move your hands to your lips. Peace in your words and to your forehead. Peace in your thoughts. Namaste. Thanks for coming to yoga. And I will be back with a new practice. Uh, in two weeks. So I hope to see you then. I'm hoping to be able to record outside in New Hampshire, but there's a lot going on there. So I, you know, plus weather, of course. So uh, we'll see what we can do. Anyway, I look forward to um, seeing you from a new location in a couple weeks. Uh, and have a great day. Thank you. Bye.